I'm Bruce Tuff, principal of the Tuff Law Firm. We are a full service law firm serving the greater Woodlands area and the greater Houston area. Contact us at 281-681-0808. We're tough for you. And now, here's the veteran voice of the legal fix, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Lone Star State in Montgomery County, Texas, for a brand new episode of The Legal Fix, a new age radio show presented by the Tough Law Firm, the toughest law firm in town, with the toughest lawyers around, answering your toughest legal questions. Introducing first, hosting out of the red corner, the big deal, Bruce Wilson! Tough! Joined by Boy Wonder, Brandon Scott Riley, and Super Lawyer, G.I. Jerome, the Golden Boy, Jeremy Lee Hall! Hey, thank you, Bruce Buffer. I'm the Big Deal Bruce Tough here with Boy Wonder, Brandon Riley, the Golden Boy, Jeremy Hall. And we're joined by our special guest, Teresa Wagaman, an elected official serving as trustee of the Conroe Independent School District Board and also a local realtor, a community ambassador involved, involved in a wide range of philanthropic she organizations is. and volunteer activities. I was just going through Teresa's resume, and there's I don't know if there's anything she hasn't done. Mm -hmm. Also today, we're going to discuss the local community service organizations with Teresa that she belongs to. I know that she just completed her term as president of Rotary in the Woodlands, and so that was very cool. We're going to ask you about this new president. Did they make Everybody you wear suits? As president? They did not, no. Yeah, well, Zach's now wearing a suit. Okay, oh, nice. So we were all shocked. Okay, <laughs> and then we're going to recap the 2022 South say. County 4th of July Parade. We're going to yes, have a recap because a good time prim the, primary, the primary committee was composed of members of the Tough Law Firm. And, I, and you know what the good news is? I think everybody's still talking to each other, right? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We all, had a, <laughs> we all had a great time at the parade. Yeah. It was a historic event. What are we doing in the second segment and third, gentlemen? Second segment, we're going to put Therese Wagman on the hot seat, where she'll answer hot our seat. toughest questions as fast as she can. Bruce, on the third segment, we're going to talk about your favorite person, Joe. Joey B. Joey B. B. Joey Bye -bye. B. I, I was just so. watching him do a press conference. He's going to uh, hey, pass hey, an executive order. Fourth of July important. And, uh, and make uh, ab abortion legal in all 50 states. So he's, in he's federal gonna, property. He doesn't care. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. But, but even better. Of abortions better. on parks. Joe yeah. Biden said, you can sum up America in one word. <laughs> oh, you should have seen him today. Yeah, he was messing up on the prompter. I don't so know what bad, he meant, but he was but he was supposed to get mad, and then he goes. But that was one word. Down it's just many syllables. He went like this. He looked down at it, and then he went. I felt like yeah, 50 he said it like <laughs> many men, many men. Be mad now. Oh, now whisper. Now whisper. Kamala was behind him, and she's just kind of going like this. She's going. I love her <laughs> speeches. Her speeches <laughs> include, you know, we have one thing, and that one thing is that we have one thing. We now, one now thing. laugh. <laughs> 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 oh Commence cackling. That's true, though. <laughs> but, 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 you know, we study Abraham Lincoln in politics. We study him in, in, in higher education. You study his works and his speeches and the, the dedication he made, right, four score and seven years ago. The, the moment he starts speaking, pin drops are heard because they didn't have microphones back then. Now, when we study what these two discussed, everyone will be confused because they literally said nothing. They do. They, they practice that. Yeah. No one can defend nothing. it. No yes. one can defend it. Exactly. They literally said nothing. That's right. All right, Teresa. Sorry. This is about you. All okay. right. You know what? I, I So I'm in Rotary. Uh, Zach's coming in. Teresa's going out. Had, Teresa had such a great year. It was an exemplary year. I loved being in Rotary for her as president. And I said, you know, we need to have her on the show. She can talk about Rotary. She can talk about being a trustee with Conroe Independent School District. She can talk about being a realtor, yes, which a lot yes. of people don't even realize you're a realtor. You can talk about your community service. That's right. Secret agent. All, all <laughs> secret <laughs> agent. <laughs> <Wackman>. <laughs> secret <laughs> agent. Secret agent. Welcome in. 
I mean, you've got your YMCA Board of Directors, Woodlands Area Chamber of Commerce, HAR, T, tree, T R E Tree Pack, uh-huh. 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 Montgomery yeah, County, County. Wait, Just Montgomery County up. Republican Republican Women, Woodlands oh, Republican Women, Alden Bridge Woods. Village Association, Junior League Good. of the Woodlands, National Charity Aaron's League, there too. Montgomery County Women's Organization. McCullough, Why weren't y'all in the oh, parade then? McCullough PTO president. I Montgomery was, yes, County yes. yes. Huge, yeah. huge. Yeah. You know those letters Republican that are out there, those big giant letters? I yeah. put those out there. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Scared Mr. McCord half to death. Oh, I love so, Chris uh, McCord. Yeah, yeah. Chris he's McCord, awesome. He's now superintendent yes, now. Yeah. Yes, so Over he's, operations, He's yeah. one of my all-time favorites. Yes, I don't know how you too. control a bunch oh, of we got a junior, call? junior high folks. Do oh, no. Call? Do we? Okay. No, no, no call. No call. So, uh, Teresa, tell me a little bit about yourself. Sure. So, uh, native Texan. I grew up in El Paso, Texas. Uh, mom of two fabulous kids. Uh, wife uh, to husband Scott, who works for Huntsman. And um, went to Texas Tech and have lived in... Texas uh, Tech. I know, that's right. Guns up. Guns wreck up. Them. Guns up. That's right. <laughs> so, um, you know, have lived here in the Woodlands since 2004 and just have been very active. Residential realtor for Montgomery County. So that's kind of oh. that's kind of it. We do have a caller. I knew mm. it. Caller. So, Who's, hey, welcome. Welcome to the Legal Fix. Welcome Who's to the caller? Legal Fix. Hey, so sad. What's your Whoa. question? Sosa's back. He's back. What? Sosa. How many quaaludes have you Woke had since like the last this. time we spoke? The man on the street. <laughs> Woke up like this. <laughs> well, I, I'm calling because I have a question for Miss W. Oh, okay. Oh, Miss W. Oh. oh. Hit us with it. Sir, I heard that you are a school board trustee, so maybe you may, uh, you'll be able to help me. Okay. Uh, sir, I've been thinking about going back to school. And I'm hoping you could give me some advice. In Australia, I only got my grade nine. But to tell you the truth, I didn't learn much past fifth grade because that's when the troublemaking started. <laughs> um, quillets, quillets. <laughs> so, right, I didn't learn much in intermediate school. So, I was hoping I could start an intermediate school and then go up to finally get my grade 12. What do you think of that? Sure, absolutely. Well, you can always uh, strive for your GED, mm. uh, which is equivalent to a high school diploma. I have family members that have those. Mm-hmm. The Australian Billy They're Madison. Definitely, definitely smarter than me, no question asked. Yeah. Right, the only, so I would want to go to real school because I want the real experience that I missed out on in Australia. The only problem is I'm still in Mexico. Um, <laughs> Is this I'm trying to figure out how to get across the border because I don't speak Spanish. You went over there on 4th of July? Did you go over there on the 4th no, of July? No, I've been here since for a month. I've been here since May. I, I don't know how to get out of here. Oh, <laughs> since, <laughs> since he called us and asked Luis Suarez what the price of a quail is. He's trapped down call, there. Um, <laughs> Call Joe Biden. I think you get a free pass. You know? Yeah. yeah. Right? I'll right? I'll put that in for you. <laughs> can help There's you a cross. spot you can cross the border. Yeah. And then Therese will get you in school right away. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Right away. Come to Montgomery <laughs> County. We'll get you in we school. We will take your tax yeah. dollars. Yes, we'll take care of you. Get over All here. Right, get here as fast great. as you can. Thank you. Good luck to you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks, so, so. <laughs> Pretty thank sure that guy's a strong taxpayer. I love, I love his respect in those moments. I do. I do. He's <laughs> Thank a, you very much. Seems like a good kid. Seems like it. <laughs> okay, Teresa, <laughs> tell me about the real estate market. How's it going? Well, it is, you know, it is, despite the change in interest rates, it is still, it's still very strong here in Montgomery County. We have a ton of people coming from all over the world. Still California, still, you know, the, New the York. blue states. Yes. yes, yes still yes. flocking. Flocking here. Prices are holding. Um, but, you know, the thing that you really need to do is have a good, strong agent that knows the market and a really, really strong uh, lender to help you be very strategic in how you plan on uh, purchasing your home. Hmm. So, You sound like you know what you're doing. I, I yeah. think that I do. I've been so, in business for over 14 years. So. Okay. Oh, wow. 14 mm-hmm. years. So yep. if someone wanted to reach you, how would they get in touch with you? If, I, if they wanted to list their house or if they need help in buying property, how would they get in touch with you? You know, they can, of course, you can always call me, but, um, what's, you know. What's your number? Uh, 936-524-4901. Or you can find me uh, at Compass, uh, Teresa.Wagaman at Compass.com. Oh, mm. perfect. Perfect. Very nice. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break. We're going to stay on schedule for a change, and then we're going to come back in our second segment. We're going to put you on the hot seat. All right, let's go. Yay. I'm Bruce Tuff, principal of the Tuff Law Firm. We are a full service law firm serving the greater Woodlands area and the greater Houston area. Contact us at 281-681-0808. We're tough for you. There are a lot of ways to reach out to a friend about their mental health. Learn how you can help at SeizeTheAwkward.org. One final time, here's the veteran voice of The Legal Fix, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Attorneys are licensed by the State Bar of Texas. Our three lawyers cross-examining the witness are Bruce Huff. Brandon Riley and Jeremy Hall. And when the action begins, the witness on the hot seat will answer as many questions with the fewest words as fast as they can. The hot seat is sponsored by The Legal Fix, a new age radio show brought to you by the Tough Law Firm. We're tough for you. And now... For those listening on the radio and Legal Fix fans watching around the world, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the Legal Fix studios in the Woodlands, Texas, it's time! One lightning round for the Hey, thank you, Bruce. I'm the big deal, Bruce Tough. I'm here with Boy Wonder, Brandon Riley, and Golden Boy, Jeremy Hall. If you have a question, call our hotline at 936-900-2381. We're joined by our special guest, Teresa Wagaman, CISD oh, trustee, goodness. realtor, and pillar of many volunteer and community service organizations. We were just talking about a few of those, and we'll come back to Teresa and talk about some more. But now it's time to put Teresa on the hot seat. It's Jeremy, we you swear, will you swear Teresa in? Right. Yes, I will. Teresa. Thank you, Bruce. Teresa, have you seen the hot seat before? I have, yes. You look like you're ready to go. I'm she ready. is ready. She's so got the know. best she ready. She's, she's ready. <laughs> she's going to serve in the witness as the witness in, in a rapid-fire cross-examination, answering our toughest fa questions as fast as you can. As fast as I can. One word or short answers are best. You get one free pass. Okay. P please state your full name for the record. Teresa Lee Wagaman. Lee, that's Lee, a strong I like that. Lee. Do you right. swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and your version of the truth to answer the most questions with the fewest words as fast as you can? I do. She ready. We're on the timer. How do you spell Vagabond? W-A-G-A-M-A-N. <laughs> Bonus question. How do you spell Lee? L-E-I-G-H. Mm -hmm. uh, I see it. Are you related to James Wagabond? I am not. Oh. Were you a good kid? I was. How old were you when you got your ears pierced? Twelve. Did you matriculate at Texas Technical University in Lubbock, Texas? Yes, I did. Are you a Red Raider? I am. What do y'all raid? What do we raid? Is that like a Viking thing? Well, we used to we used to raid uh, the beer stores because it used to be a dry county, but <laughs> <laughs> but it's not dry anymore. <laughs> it's really good. Sounds like adolescent boys rifling through the underwear drawer. Yeah, we're the Red Raiders. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. Wreck them. What, what's y'all's rally cry? Well, you know, some people say guns up, but it's mm. also wreck them. Wreck them. Don't wreck well, that. Just so you know, we're against gun violence on legal things. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. At, at least GI Jerome is. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't like that. Cancel that rally cry. Were you a sorority girl? I was. 
What did you major in? Communications. Mm. Oh, do you design billboards or like telephone cable? I do not. She lays what'd, the you, pipe. what'd you minor in? Uh, English. Are you like really, really good at English? S- sure. <laughs> Say something smart in English. Uh, hello. <laughs> Everything I re on. <laughs> Are you a wag mom Do you have kids? I do, yes. I have uh, two. What are their names and ages? Uh, Nathan is 23 and Natalie is 19. Nice. Uh, who's your favorite? Uh, my son Nathan is my favorite boy and Natalie is my favorite <laughs> oh, I thought we got her. I thought we got her on you that have one. Dogs? I do. I have two dogs. Um, we have Finn, who's a lab, and Gigi, who's a little uh, chihuahua mix. Okay, so do you want to hear a joke? That's sure. a good one. Uh, why did the kid give the dog a treat? Uh, I don't know. To see his tail walk a man. Oh, oh <laughs> there we go. There we go. What is you your husband's name? Scott. Did you tell him he's a waga man? You say you're the wagamon? <laughs> <laughs> has he ever rocked a pencil stash? Uh, no, he has not. Oh. Do you have a prenup? We do not. Why? You can rationalize it to the rest of the girls at the junior high league? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, I don't know. We never, we never got one. Okay. Is your family vehicle a Volkswagen? We do actually have a Volkswagen. A Volkswagen? Perfect. She's flowing with us. <laughs> hey, uh, do you have a will? We do. Uh, yes. How much money will it take for you to retire? A lot. When's the last time you cried? Um, I'm not a big crier. I mean, when it happens, though, it's it's big. Mm, yeah, pours out. It's, it's objection, big. non-responsive. <laughs> How often do you check like social that. media? Um, probably three times a day. What apps? Uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, and um, YouTube. What about TikTok? If you had to make a viral TikTok for the CISD trustees, uh, I don't who know. would I don't be do the TikTok. star? Who would be the star? If you had to yeah, make one, make a who TikTok. would be the star Who's getting views? of the Ticket Taka? Who's getting TikToks? Uh, probably Curtis. Okay, uh, yeah. Curtis Knoll. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what's your weight? Uh, 20 minutes. All right, <laughs> 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 uh, she's so ready. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that was good. <laughs> what's no your, objection. What's your God-given hair color? Uh, brown. Have you ever received a permanent? Yes. What kind of hair products do you use? Uh, Kenra. This mm-hmm. Halloween, will you go as Melissa McCarthy? No. Selena, <laughs> if she was alive today. Aw, Selena. Mm-hmm. Cindy Alvarado. Uh, no. Oh, that's a good doppelganger. What's the most humble job you've ever had? I served uh, ice cream at 31 Flavors. Oh, Baskin Robbins. Nice. Yes. Nice. Nice. How many jo- How many deals have you closed as a realtor? Gosh, hundreds. Oh, best kept secret as a real estate agent. Best kept secret. Ooh, I don't even know. Um, Buy low, sell high. You do a lot more work than they think you do? Probably. I think so. Probably. Okay. Your resume says you have a proven eye for detail. Show us. Show us your proven eye. Can Um, we see it? (laughs) There it is. There it is. (laughs) Proven eye for detail. You're also known for closing sales quickly and ensuring both buyer and seller satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Don't you have to sign a waiver for that? Some kind of conflict of interest (laughs) agreement? Buyer and seller. (laughs) You can't both be be happy. Okay. Okay. But still, let's play acronym bingo for your resume. Okay. First, your designation. Yeah. Teresa, Teresa Wagaman, uh-huh. A-B-R-G-R-I-N-H-S, S-R-E-S, C-N-E, uh-huh. something else in the bingo alphabet. Uh-huh. Next, your association, N-A-R-T-A-R-H-A-R-T-R-E-P-A-C-R-E-B-A-C. We're back. B-A-T-R-E-B-A-C, B-A-T-R-E-B-A-C, R-E. Okay, I'm going to make, sa- make you say mine. Okay, and then there's LMC. Uh-huh. What's that? Oh, uh, Leadership Montgomery County. Class of 21? Uh, yes. Class oh, of they class drank the Kool-Aid. Oh, yeah. class oh, of they drank Bruce? the Kool-Aid. Bruce, class of? Uh, t- 1997. Bruce. Oh, so it ain't happening 1998. PTO. 98. Uh, uh, parent-teacher organization. CISD. Uh, Conroe Independent School District. YMCA. <laughs> they want a year the YMCA. Hey, 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 you were also elected okay. to the CISD Board of Trustees, were you not? Yes. Was it a smooth campaign, or did you have to deal with the, any waga monsters in the closet, like a haunted past? Uh, well, no, I ran unopposed. No. Oh, oh, may all your elections be unopposed. Yes. yes. Assuming yes. you're the top dog, who no. is the second best trustee? Um, Scott Moore. Yay. Oh, good job, Very Scott. Good. If students say your name three times, do you appear and administer a standardized test? <laughs> Is, it multiple choice? Not like Is it multiple choice? <laughs> <laughs> Is it multiple choice? 
<laughs> right. You're involved in a lot of community service organizations. I mean, a whole lot. Yes. What's your mission on the BHSP Community Task Force Program Committee? So, you know, that is a mental health. Uh, committee and so I was uh, outbound service we were um, and and so we were looking for opportunities to merge uh, merge information for um, God, how do I even explain this Red flag um, walls. <laughs> no no uh, other organizations uh, putting them all together so that we knew all of the different organizations <clears throat> that provided uh, health the oh, mental good. health care task force so, ready. Ready. speaking yeah, of mental like, health I know, I how does talk saves lives so by actually just talking about it mm, uh, we yes. we uh, brought uh, judge Wayne Mack in to Rotary uh, and nice. um, we did the presentation at Rotary and then um, I do the presentation for anyone that wants to hear it and so it's it's just a nice overview of it, it's an introductory overview about talking about suicide awareness yeah, that's mm. right. mm-hmm. we see you associate with the montgomery county business women yes. correct yes. yeah do you have a sadie hawkins with the association of businessmen <laughs> no. two groups get together <laughs> guys <laughs> and gals yeah. you also have a seat at the table at the montgomery county women's council of organizations yes. a power table of females bent on world domination <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so the right. only question we have on that, if Bruce identifies as a female mm-hmm, and signs mm-hmm. up as Caitlin Tough, right, right. can he come to the table? Can he come? Can he be on the council? I don't know. He'd have to leg wrestle Carol Durkee. For, I'm not Carol oh. Durkee. Carol Gooch for that. Oh, Carol Gooch. Oh, my gosh. Right. Right. Watch I Gooch. Gooch. I Watch that Gooch. He's a beast in the thigh master. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, you're not just a member of the National Charity League, the Indian Paintbrush chapter, but you're also the past president. Yes, right. and yes. And yes. President of a we lot didn't of see you yes. at the 4th of July parade. What's yeah. up with that? What? What? This is the first year that I actually did not participate, volunteer, ride volunteer. in wow. right. Did you not receive your dignitary yes. invitation? I did not. No, no. wonder. No. Did not. No. 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 I'm getting fired Monday in case anyone yeah. wonders. So, I have yeah. to sign my own pink slip. Now you're getting but releg- I did, relegated. I did watch online. Um, <laughs> and kidding. I did see Great Maris job. Blair. She was awesome getting all of those floats moving. She was. Yeah, she was not letting yes. any space yeah. get in between them. I'm just going to tell you, Maris Blair got it done because I pumped her full of mimosas right before. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hidden secret. Well, she was rocking it. So. I thought that was just orange juice. She did an Are awesome job. Me? Uh, well, I spiked the punch. Okay. So <laughs> oh, <just wow>. <laughs> <laughs> Next. W. W. We didn't, oh, you're also a member of the Junior High League. The junior, right. You know, I will tell you a funny story. Uh, my son, many, many years ago, thought that I was a member of the Justice League. Justice League, and yes. I had to tell Justice him it League. was oh, the no. Junior League. What's he the was mean, devastated. What's, what's the meanest thing you've ever said at a board meeting? The meanest thing? To one of the junior hires. Gosh, I don't I don't think I've ever said anything mean. That's good. But have you ever made a junior cry? A junior? No, I don't think so. Okay. Oh. If you could be anything other than a woman about town, what would you be? Uh, a man about town? Sum <laughs> 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 so, so up your life philosophy. Sum up your in twenty twenty two you can. Yes, yeah, sum up That's your right. life philosophy in a word phrase. Um, she thought she could, so she did. Yeah. I had a girl. What's one thing people don't know about you that you want them to know? Um that I don't know, I guess I'm nice. Yeah, your sunglass Good. game is on yeah, point. Love what's that. your what's point, your literally. top unchecked bucket list item? Ooh, that I want to I want to walk uh, the Camino de Santiago. Ooh, yeah. where is that? So that is in Spain. It's a 500 mile walk wow. from France okay. um, to Santiago, Spain. Nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It takes about a month. One Good food luck. for life. What would you eat? Uh, brisket forever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fastest you've ever gone in a car. Uh, I will not admit how fast I've gone in a car. <laughs> yeah, high speed. Favorite movie or show? <laughs> Favorite movie or show? Okay, so, um, gosh. Okay, so I love um, The Other Guys. Mm. That is like the will funniest Ferrell. movie yeah. ever. Mark Wahlberg. Right. Oh my yeah. gosh, I love that movie. Yeah. Favorite, yeah. Place, you, about favorite place you've ever been? Favorite place I've ever been. Um, you know, I love anywhere in the mountains. Okay. Anywhere in the mountains. Yeah. Nartar or Har? Well, I guess I'd have to say hard because it's right here. Hard, town, <laughs> yes. Who's smarter, you or Jorge from Jorge's Coffee Club? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. 100-yard dash, you <laughs> or the rest of the junior high league, how many of the kiddos finish? 
Oh gosh. Well, um, there's there are some ladies in there that could probably beat me. They have much longer okay. legs. Okay. <laughs> Missy Rusty? Herndon for one. Yes, you heard. <laughs> well, they run. She'll run. She'll yeah, probably she run. Yeah. Run. Yeah. She Herndon was like could a beat me. In college or something. She's wicked yeah. smart. Yeah. Too. yeah. Rusty Harden or Tony Busby. Oh gosh, you know I don't know. That was. Do you a hard know one. either of them? I know, you know, I know who Tony Busby is for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, his famous the guy, the Sean the Watson. The guy hey, the Sean Watson needs a realtor to client. sell his Houston mansion. Give us your best hard description of the massage room. <laughs> Really play it up. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Just keep it clean. Keep it clean. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Did you love the hot seat? It was good. You it handled your Oh, you did, you did well. You did all. so well. I told her before y'all got here, because y'all never arrive on time, I told her you should sit down and go ahead and start sweating over the hot seat. Yeah, the hot seat. <laughs> is always, I didn't sleep last night. <laughs> it's, it's always powerful. I know. Hey, I, I want to ask you this, Teresa. Yes. We have just a few minutes left in our segment, but... Um, what do you uh, are, what do you feel most proud about about your accomplishment last year as the president of Rotary of the Woodlands? Honestly, you know it was it was a super 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 board and and just a great honor to serve. Um, you know I brought our little hats that we gave all of nice. our past presidents. We're great. still kind of handing them out. Um, something special about it is each each president got their number on the side of their hats, like our oh. regular real you know our real presidents presidents do oh, and so they were cool. thrilled nice. um to see their numbers um i will forever be number 47 yeah, that but is cool. um but you know uh gosh just we had over 40 projects that we did here uh in our community we raised um dollars to build a cottage over at angel reach hundred thousand wow. dollars to support rotary house um, our signature project that supports, um, you know, people that are having treatment here at our medical centers, um, thirty-two thousand dollars in scholarships. Um, wow. Seven, you know, we now have seven interact clubs, two Rotaract clubs, uh, twenty thousand meals packed by our interact kids. I mean, the list just goes on and on. And you know, we're about to we're preparing to celebrate our 50th anniversary along with Interfaith wow. and the Woodlands Township. We are all three so intertwined. Um, 50 years. This wow. community has just been incredible uh, with you know just within the greater community. And I'm just I'm so proud to be proud to be part of it and uh, proud to serve. So, uh, and you were so you awesome. rocked it this year. So they the dinner they have a, a rotary dinner and it honors uh, individuals in the community or an individual well, in the community. Yeah. And the biggest dinner, the biggest, baddest, most wonderful dinner they had was this year honoring Kevin Brady, mm. Dan Crenshaw. Yeah, you did yeah, go. Invited me. Dan Crenshaw go. and Morgan Latrell both did the introduction yeah. for Kevin mm-hmm. Brady, and it was huge and Why it was fabulous. Wonder go to the it dinner. was really fabulous. oh my gosh! I yeah. will tell you, walking in, doing the the uh, you know the we did the second line, watching Kevin and Kathy second yes. line in, yes. and everybody just having the best time. I'm telling you, that was the yeah. That, that was the party to be. Mardi Gras so thing. Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras nice. thing. Party a beat. lot of fun. Traders hosting. And, uh, and, and yeah, it was we had, and everybody was there except for Brandon. Oh, <laughs> oh. shiny penny. Yeah, yeah, shiny penny no show. Wow. Well, yeah, we the shiny penny up. no show to the shiny penny event. Yeah, that's right. Tell me how that's that right. I don't know. I don't <laughs> know. We have no I idea. Wonder. Okay, we're going to have a couple all of minutes right. left. Hot topics. Let's Boy talk wonder. about Let's the go hottest real topic quick. of all. Oil yep. prices are through the roof. Yes. Meat prices have doubled. Bruce has confirmed I that did. hot dogs are up from $3 oh to 6 I tried to use my $50. You can keep playing. You heard it here first. Happening. You heard it here first. Actual folks. inflation is <laughs> probably 15 to 20%, if not higher. But we have tapped into the strategic reserve of the mm-hmm. oil, and we're at the lowest level since 1986. So right yep. Right after you went and sat in the lines as a law clerk, yes. brand new yeah. lawyer. Yeah, the, I was waiting in gas lines. If you the, look at old yeah. pictures in the late seventies, you'll see all these big Cadillacs and Lincolns. Mm-hmm. And you'll see me in a yeah. line yeah. waiting, mm-hmm. waiting for <laughs> forty minutes to get gas. Who's Cadillac? Where are you driving? I was dri- Sanford Con, one of yeah. the attorneys I worked yeah. with. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Ronald so, Bass in Sanford Con. So I was like their uh, President law clerk. Biden. He'd throw me the keys. Get the cars filled. That's Go the first thing up. I did. Go fill them up. That's hazing. That's yeah. hazing at its best. It, so, so that's how it is. But nonetheless, 
Biden has been selling our reserves to Europe because we don't have the capacity to refine enough oil to mm -hmm. export it because we shut down the XL pipeline the first day he entered office. In addition to that, he's also selling to Chinese companies that his son has a direct tie to. That's good. That's perfect. Millions and of and barrels of oil sold to right. Chinese companies that his son will profit from. And, and if it, anyone so. doesn't get the picture, we were energy independent. We could have been an exporter of oil to everybody. We and had plenty gas. of oil and, and natural, natural gas, gas for us, right. but he shuts down and the coal. Keystone and Pipeline. Mm -hmm. He shuts down offshore drilling. Yeah. That's his first thing he did in office. And now he's going, okay, and he blames the oil companies for it, who's been slaughtered for the last slaughtered. previous two years, but he wants to blame them. Right. Yeah. Talk about a failure of leadership. Well, I mean, know, God, Houston the guy's suffers, a freaking idiot. Houston right. suffers greatly for that because their refineries can't handle sweet crude, but they can handle rough crude, whatever you want to call it, right. which is what yes. the tar sands yes. are that come yes. out from Canada. Yeah. So yes. any kids well, I was going to say the stuff yeah, that please. we're sending them is the easy stuff to refine, mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. it, it's very easy for those countries to refine that right. um, because it's yeah. a, it's it's the sweet crude. Right. Exactly. Whereas we take on you know the garbage. The head so, of the refinery, um, yes. and we and we're not yeah. building we don't any even, more refineries right. because there's no incentive because you know the the oil companies and the oil producer get, they'll get kicked in the teeth as soon, as, teeth as, soon right. as things correct themselves. Right, soon as there's no the incentive. Man, I mean, this guy just wants to have us uh, on the bottle of the government, on the bottle of the government. That's yeah. right. That's and then, exactly do you right. ever notice all the COVID numbers? They're all uh, erased, and you never see it anymore. Hey, tell me why flu was zero in 2020 oh and 2021. God, it's just no one me can. Sick. My mom is a nurse. She still doesn't understand how that happened. Um, mm -hmm. No one and does. She watched people no die from COVID. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's no explanation. fraud. The giant fraud. We're going to look back, and it's going to be the biggest fraud that was ever passed over all we of us. And we took it. We may not be allowed it. to look back. Oh, man. There may not It'll be It'll come out. Moment. It'll come George out. George Orwell, everything is today in the present. The past is erased. Hey, in the 70s, what they said is the oil embargoes and everything that was going on they said there'll be no more oil we'll never have oil in the next 20 30 years we'll be out of oil and you can't drive your car you know utah has so, enough oil to power the all, u.s for that was from the government years, just off of shale oil utah has enough oil to power the u.s for the next 200 years i love years it i love it shell oil but it only is usable if it's ten dollars a gallon Teresa, thank yeah. you for being on the legal fix. Well, thank I love you. It. I love it that you were able to be on. Thank you for no, watching. I'm thrilled. Yeah, you. yeah, your your life yeah. is complete. How amazing. <laughs> thank you for watching the legal fix. Brought to you by the Tough Law Firm. Call us at two eight one six eight one zero eight zero eight, or visit toughlawfirm.net, or hit us up on the comments. Catch past episodes and highlights on our website and YouTube channel. See, I got it right. You Can't got it. Go on ah! Facebook, Instagram, and listen live on Spotify and 91.1 FM, The Bows. The Bows. Bo Boy Wonder's on his game. I'm, I'm the Big Deal Bruce stuff. stuff. I'm here with Boy Wonder, Brandon Riley, and the Golden Boy, Jeremy Hall. We'll see you next week on The Legal Fit. Thank you to Jess Bays for hey. the jury trial that didn't Oh, happen. my gosh. I love being in her court. He chickened out <laughs> at the last moment. Yeah. Hey. Thank you, Britton Hall. Yay. Yeah.